Okay, watch this next video if you want to learn about the one of the hottest ideas that is going to take the whole country by storm, or mostly the world. It's called 3D printing. You probably heard it buzzwords around or whatever already, but it is going to you know just change everything in our life. You know, because now instead of just printing paper, you can print stuff. Just print stuff out of your computers. You know, you like, like uh, the, the interviewer would tell you how how his child screwed up at one of the handles on the stove. You know, the little knobs. He just went to his 3D printer, printed a new knob. Yeah. <laughs> you want a special little you know character for your Tinker Toy set or whatever? You just print it in a 3D printer. You know, you want to make teacups. You know, in a special form. Print it in a 3D printer. Yeah. And it, shoes. You can have a different pair of shoes every day or just walk up to your class. Hey, I need this kind of sh color shoes. You can down a 3D printer and print it. <laughs> I mean, it sounds stupid, but it's there. And these printers are down under a thousand dollars now. Now this guy makes a bigger one so you can make bigger stuff out of it. Yeah? But more importantly too, where we can talk about it in this uh, video is if you don't want to invest even you know, uh, hundreds of dollars or whatever it is, you know, in a printer, there are places around the country that'll teach you how to use these things for almost nothing you know? and they have all the equipment and you pay a few dollars you know and they teach you how to use it and, and what to do with it and all that kind of stuff they're called maker spacers <laughs> maker I'm sorry maker spaces right so like maker people want to make things spaces there's you know public spaces like that all around the country there's hundreds and hundreds of these things and the other one is called hack spaces and they have all the equipment to do anything you could learn to do anything this is where the guy who's selling this now and, and making all this money you know uh, with his 3d printer learned how to use 3d printers at one of these maker spaces now he's on the internet you know crowdfunding because he designed one because if one wasn't around you know that was good enough or big enough for what he wanted to do because he, he plays around with the rockets and whatever it is yeah so whether it's toys or fun stuff or you make one you, you have an idea for a product you could print one out on your printer to show what it is and that's why when you have a sample you know from a printer like that then you go on the internet and say hey i'm gonna make these you know, in uh, uh, not on a printer, but I'm going to factory make it because I want to make thousands of them. But now you have a model. You have a model for, you know, for 50 bucks, you make a model, 20 bucks or whatever it is. You know? And you have a model of what the heck you want to do to make thousands of, you know, and you'll be able to do it for nothing. And that's what's so, one of the neatest things for people with ideas. People want to make things. People want to do things in life. You know, these printers are going to you know, knock the socks out of everybody. You know, and what's neat now, instead of buying one, investing all the talent and skills you need maybe to, to use one effectively, you just go to one of these spaces and they have the help you need for next to nothing to teach you how to use these things and let you use theirs and teach you more stuff you never even thought about asking about it. So that's right, this is an important interview. So even if you're not gonna buy a 3D printer right today, watch this so you know how to use a great tool in our society. Well, Ben Wraithbleck, man, <laughs> for a rocket scientist, man, you're going to make every household, you know, not have to go to the store again because we just plug in your printer and I can get a new set of plates or new cups or new shoes even, I guess. You know, anything I want from these... 3D printers that you're making, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, and now there's others on the market, and why is yours so special now? Well, um, we looked at um, the kind of printers that were being built at the time when we started. This is about a year and a half ago. And uh -huh. we really, really, we wanted to use a 3D printer for our own rocket project. <laughs> and we said, okay, well, what do we need? Well, we need a printer that's big because we need to be able to print big things. Uh -huh. right? We needed to be able to print a bunch of different materials all at the same time. Ah. Right? Um, and we also wanted to have pretty good precision. Right? And we didn't have a lot of money. I so uh, <laughs> we went and started looking and we couldn't find one. So we said, all right, well, um, well, how do we build one? And we started learning and studying other people's designs and... and and just studying theory and and started experimenting with different things and at some point we said hey you know this is going to be a great printer well i, I saw even like a, a, on the crowdfunding site that you're on a kickstarter that you even bought a whole lot of other people's stuff to study them right was that a lot of reverse engineering you were doing um 
not, not so much reverse engineering. We actually, um, we actually c consciously made the decision that we, we can't design from scratch every piece. Uh -huh, I see. Um, and so what we did is we designed the key part, which is the frame itself and how it right. works. Uh, and then initially we wanted to use other people's extruders. Ah. And so we used components and put them together and got them to work. Um, so we weren't actually re reverse engineering them. But at one point it became clear that uh, existing extruders were a little too big and heavy and bulky. Ah. And so we ended up having to redesign that anyway. Oh, that's terrific. But I mean, most importantly about this thing, I mean, most of these pre printers particularly uh, uh, could, you know, you, they print tinker toys or something like that, but you get two feet by two feet stuff. Wow, look at <laughs> that. comes out of your printer, man. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah and that's, I mean, a little, that's a little vase that we printed. It's uh. It's about 10 inch tall, it's about 10 inch wide. Wow. And, uh, so that's what people have looked forward for to. And, and actually getting now, I mean, you're on Kickstarter with it and you've got three, four more weeks. And if people buy it now, they're really getting a deal. I mean, it's like four or 500 bucks off, you know, the yeah. retail price when it's out there. Yeah, so in, absolutely. Yeah, so in addition to supporting you and getting this out there for everybody, man, they become the first on the block. Plus, <laughs> they got such a deal. <laughs> yeah, I think we're we're um, we, we really try to get a, a price down as low as we possibly can. We're basically not making any money on the printers on Kickstarter, um, and on our lowest model um, uh, that that prints one cubic foot, right? So one 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch um, will cost about twenty five hundred dollars on Kickstarter right now with two extruders. Ah, um, and that's another thing that our printer does that, that pretty much nobody else, there's one other company that has multiple extruders, but basically um, their, their printer is much smaller. So we have a big printer, it has up to four extruders, meaning that you can work with four materials at the same time. Now, I saw in the video, I mean, do you make food out of this thing too, or what? Do they... Not yet, uh, not yet. Um, so, um, the other really cool part about our, our, our um, printer is that, um, uh, I'm going to show you folks an extruder here. Um, uh -huh. and, and that's kind of an, an important part right here. Here's what an extruder looks like. Ah. Right? So what happens is plastic goes in into that little hole, hole right there. Oh, I see. So yeah. if a, a thing of plastic goes in yeah, there and like melts. A and... Filament, like a, like yeah. a, think of it as a very thick fishing line. Right? Mm -hmm. And it gets melted in this part right here. Uh -huh. That's called the hot end. Mm -hmm. right here. And, and there's a tiny, tiny little hole that ah. you can't see. It's, it's about a third of a millimeter in diameter. I see. So that what layers out the material, huh? Right. So what happens is the machine then takes, so you mount, see this, this kind uh -huh, of dovetail right. joint? Yeah, this gets mounted on the machine. Uh -huh. Right. And you just screw it down a little tighter. Mm -hmm. Right. Ah, uh, I see. And then the machine moves it back and forth and ah. crosswise like this, mm -hmm. and it draws different pictures. Ah, I um, see. And then and then it moves up a layer and draws the next, the next layer. one. So by the time it's ready for the next layer, the, that layer is sort of dry enough to add on to it, huh? That, that's right. So um, our basic machine comes with two of these. I see. And for another five hundred dollars, you can get two more. And steak knives, huh? <laughs> and steak knives, right? But here's the really cool part. Because we designed it to be really easy to take on and off. You just Undo the screw and you I right see. Out. Um, in the future, we'll make more different kinds of extruders. I these these are what we call filament extruders because mm -hmm. they take a plastic filament. Right. But later on, we'll have paste extruders. Wow! So, so you can, can like, put load it up with chocolate and Boston cream <laughs> and make a, a custom a custom statuette of Matthew out of wow. Well, show us a statue. You you made statues out of plastic now. Oh, what yeah. are those statues uh, you have there? I, I'm going to move them by a little quick because they're not necessarily yeah. sick. Uh, well, they're works of art. Yeah. They're, they're works of art, right here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's out of 3D proof. But more, so if someone's watching now and they've never, hey, man, that sounds cool. I want to do this, but I'm no engineer. But you say there's places around the country, all over the place, uh, all over the country, they could go and learn for next to nothing. I mean, uh, almost to learn and, and to use an existing one somewhere. Uh, to learn and how to use these things. What are they called now? What are these places? Uh, absolutely. There are these uh, um, um, organizations that are called maker spaces or hacker uh -huh. spaces. And, and the terms get, get used 
often to mean the same thing. They're a little different, but not that much. Yeah. Um, a makerspace or a hackerspace is a place where you can go and it has tools and it has people and it has, uh, you know, there's people who teach you. Um, and basically the difference between the two is that a makerspace is more focused on people who use machines or use mm -hmm. printers or use craft and they're just kind of working with their hands. Uh, and a hackerspace is is more about computers and, and learning how to write programs or how to uh, make uh, things come alive with computers built into them. So then you could go for either or both of those things at, at a makerspace and, and learn how to make stuff. And I guess more importantly though, you could go and learn how to use all these important tools to think. So if you're a tinkerer kind of person and thinking about having a 3D printer in your house someday, you know, it'd probably better go to Mer Makerspace, see what these are and how to use them. And then, then that's you, how I start. Really? And then yeah. you go to 3dmonster.com without the E in monster, right? <laughs> And you'll always be there plugging these things because it's obviously going to be a hell of a growth industry. Now, I have a boy who's now an organic farmer, and he's looking to get a 3D printer to make all parts for equipment or anything he needs, and he doesn't have to FedEx them or any of this kind of stuff. Absolutely. When we were prototyping our printer, uh, uh -huh. We needed to play with different gear ratios on the motor. Ah. That's, a, that's a stepper motor, like the kind you'd use inside of a, a 3D printer, right? So we, we printed our own uh, pulleys. Wow. So that we can play with different sizes. Sizes or right whatever right. thing, yeah. Wow. Uh, and in fact, uh, here, here's another thing we made. Oh. This, is, this is a little cylinder. <laughs> it, 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 it holds up the filament spool, because the way you buy filament for a right. printer is in the spool. So this is a little holder. Now this is actually part of the actual printer that we sell. Wow! Uh, you know, it's got a little bearing that's printed right. to it, so you can actually combine plastic parts <laughs> with uh, parts you get off the shelf, like wow. bearings. Yeah, and, you, and, you, and they charge you a fortune for those little parts. At least the cars do now. Yeah, for anything well, you want, they want to. Right? Nowadays, um, you know, we 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 just when we need a part, we just print it. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, one of my kids lost a uh, knob on on the gas stove, so just oh, just yeah, designed it's funny. And it. We we have a burned one over here. Somebody was using it and they burned the thing. Wow! So more now I got another reason I need a three D printer, right? Everybody needs a 3D printer. <laughs> and so if you're thinking about one now, it's really go to three D Monster M O N S T R dot com and uh, find your printer there because it goes to Kickstarter and this is a, the best time to get a deal on a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, and also that, that hackerspaces.org is a place to learn how to use these things or, or you want to be creative with anything in the new technology. They teach you for next to nothing. You don't have to go to some expensive consultant you know, to do all these things, right? Exactly. Well, nice to have you in the world, Ben, and, and, uh, and I, I'm glad that Rockets got you into this because now the rest of us who just want toys <laughs> well, have you something. Thank so much for having me. Uh, you you bet. Take care. Take care. Take care. Okay, this is a new tool. Start learning. <laughs> Start being aware that this thing is there for you to solve problems with. It's going to make life easier and help you grow better in life.